Hey guys and welcome back to another quest guide. Today we are doing the quest Making Friends with My Arm. For this quest you're going to need 72 mining which you can boost to, 68 agility, 66 fire making, and 35 construction. You also must have done the quests My Arm Big Adventure, Swan Song, and Cold War. And all of these quests have sub quests as well so I'm going to put a picture on the screen right now of all the quests you need to do for those as well. You also must not be afraid of nasty trolls. Now this is a day of release quest guide meaning that I'm doing this on the day it was released so there may be methods found in the future that do speed up the quest so I recommend checking out the comments section or checking out the quest guides on the wiki or rune shoe for example to see if they have found any new methods to speed up the quest. For this quest you're going to need a hammer, a saw, five mahogany planks, a bucket, a bolt of cloth, and cadaver berries. You're also going to need a pickaxe and a rope, but both of these are obtainable during the quest. You can also bring weight reducing clothing like Graceful. In my case, I'm just going to bring a lot of stamina potions instead because I'm going to wear my gear the entire time. During the quest, you're going to need to go to Larry, who is in the northern part of Relica. So I have a Draymond staff to use the fairing to get there quicker. It's the quickest way. You also will need to go to Draenor Village later on in the quest. So I recommend having a glory either in your house or on you. The quest can be started by speaking to Burnt Meat, who is in the Troll Stronghold Kitchen. If you guys forget how to get there, it's really simple. Teleport to Trollheim, so you're at the top of the mountain, run down the side of the mountain, and then go to the entrance of the stronghold, which is right here, and that's where I'll meet you. We're now at the entrance to the troll stronghold, so just enter once you're in here. I have not been here in a long time. You're going to run south from the entrance. If you guys remember the quest, you know, the old troll stronghold quests and Edgar's Rouge and all that, you guys know this place pretty well. We're going to run south and then climb down the stone staircase, and we're going to end up in this room with Burnt Meat and this new guy, Wolfbone. So what do you say we start the quest? Let's talk to Burnt Meat and get this started. Go through the dialogue. You guys can read it if you want. I'm ready for another quest. Yes, I'll take your quest. And this is all just lore behind this guy and why he's here. Why would you choose my arm? And now we have to go talk to my arm. So go back up the staircase. Just make sure in your quest log that you have started the quest indeed. For me, it's the yellow one right here. You have started it. And now we have to go speak to my arm. So climb back up the staircase, run into this cave with Cobb. You guys remember this big guy and climb up the troll ladder. And this is where the farm patch is. And up here, you're going to go talk to the boy, my arm, who is back here tending to his gout weed. Yo, my arm, what's up? What you got? Hello. I'm doing another quest for burned meat. Don't you mind leaving your home? Wolfbone said we should go by C. And now he says, I'll see you in a bit. So check your quest log and make sure it says this. I told my arm about Larry. If you guys see that, then you're ready for the next part. So I'm going to go ahead and teleport to my house where I have a fairy ring. If you guys can get to your closest fairy ring and take the teleport DKS in your fairy ring, that's the closest place to get to Larry. So let me use my fairy ring, equip it, and we're going to go to a DKS. Once you're here, just run west down the snowy mountain. And Larry is still up here in the same spot right after the Cold War quest. Now we're going to go talk to Larry. Can I transport my arm in your boats? My arm is a troll? <laughs> Small little cutscene's gonna happen. Look at this. Is this Alkin? This is probably how Alkin walks, bro. <laughs> now we're gonna speak to Larry again to try to get my arm on the ship. So again, choose the second option. Take my boat and get very long away from me. <laughs> Are we there yet? No. Lots of comical humor here. I'm not surprised. This is a, a Jagex Ash quest, so just keep pressing space if you don't want to see any of it. And then you're going to arrive here at the coast near Weiss, all the way at the tippy top of this place. And look at that, guys. If you go to your mini-map, you can see that they have indeed filled out this previous black space that was here next to the wilderness. And now there's this brand new area. It looks really nice. The first thing you want to do here is search the wrecked boat over here, which has a pickaxe and also has a rope. We're going to take the rope and we're going to also take the pickaxe. There's some other supplies here as well, but you just want the pickaxe and the rope. Now you have these two things on you. Talk to my arm quickly and see what he has to say. You can skip past this if you want. You want to go over here to this entrance and just click mine cave entrance. And once this happens, he's going to let you go up the rock slide. So now I'll try to climb up the rock slide. So you can actually fall here sometimes and take damage. So be careful about it. We're going to go up this one too. 
I have a decently high agility level 81, so I should be fine. And now we're going to use the rope on the tree. And you're going to lasso it onto there. We're now going to climb the rope. Run over here to this other rock slide and crossing the ledge first. And climb the rock slide. And now we're at the top. Past the fallen tree. And you guys have now made it up here and we have a nice little cutscene of a brand new area. And this cave is where you want to go to. At the top you guys want to go southeast over here to this guy called Boulder who's standing in the way of the gate. So you're going to talk to him. This is a troll town so no humans are welcome. We're just going to go through all the options here. So obviously you can't get in. These options don't work so you have to find a different way in. Now if you guys go left to where I am right now there's going to be a little shortcut that you guys can go through. Now in this part, there's going to be trolls that are throwing rocks at you. And if you get hit by these rocks, you get knocked out. But it's pretty easy to get yourself around them. This is an instanced area, by the way. Again, here are the trolls, roots, all these different names for them. They're going to throw rocks at you. So just follow the path that I go right now. You pretty much always want to stay on the bottom side of the path. And then once you guys have made it here, this area right here is safe. Nothing can throw rocks at you or anything. So you can stand here if you want and take a short break if that was too much for you. There's also some ice wolves here. What's up, guys? I also forgot to mention that you do need a spade for this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you guys do get knocked unconscious here and get hit by one of the boulders, you get sent back to the outside of this place right here where we started. So again, just take this path back to where I am right now. The final stretch is just north to the dungeon here. This part's a bit more difficult because it is a narrow stretch. So you can easily get hit by the boulders. So let's see if I get lucky and do it on my first try. I'm just going to spam click through it. You most likely are going to get hit if you don't get lucky. Do we get lucky? Yeah, there we go. We, we, we didn't get lucky. So you get sent outside here if you get knocked unconscious. Again, just run back to the shortcut over here and get to the exact same spot we were before. If you guys want, you can try to zigzag by clicking on each, each different square and try to like dodge all the boulders that come your way, which will make it a bit harder for the trolls to hit you instead of just going straight in a line, which might be more difficult. I just spam click around me and it sort of ended up working. So just send down the hole. That might actually be the best thing to do, just spam click side to side so the boulders can't hit you and you're going to make it down. So when you're down here, you guys want to quickly run south. As long as this dialog box is up, you're fine. But once you click click here to continue, you guys have to quickly run south and pass the narrow gap here. Once you guys have passed the narrow gap, then a cutscene will occur of all these trolls walking by. These guys are massive, by the way. Damn. Now we have to do the same thing, dodging all these boulders, but this time in the water. So we're going to run south here by following the path. They're going to start throwing stuff at you. Cross the water's edge. And we're just going to try to swim through it. Well, actually, you have to empty your hands first, and then you can swim through it. So I'm just going to, you know, sort of spam click my way through, see if that works. Hopefully, if you just keep clicking, they're going to end up throwing up behind you. Now, we've made it past this part. Keep clicking, and then cross the water's edge. We've made it past this part. And now we made it to this part. Now, at the end of this part, there's something a bit annoying that happens. You, they're going to throw rocks at you, except the rocks are going to stay in the water, because you need to create... A path for my arm to walk on so i'm going to show you guys what it looks like it's a bit annoying to figure out but i'll show you so we're going to cross the edge here do the same thing we did as the last time and there's going to be a small little cutscene here this is the area i need to clear he's going to tell you your character is going to tell you what you need to do pretty much we're going to keep doing this they're going to throw rocks at you so we're going to make it all the way to the edge over here once you guys have made it to the edge you're going to wait and all of a sudden you guys are going to see the rocks start forming a little path. So keep swimming around the path here. If you guys do get knocked unconscious like I just did, I'm gonna show you guys what happens. Pretty much you get hit with the boulder, you get knocked unconscious and you're sent back outside. But don't worry, you don't have to do the entire thing over again. Just go to the shortcut and you're gonna be sent to the second water area. So right here, if you try to cross the fence again, your character does everything automatically and you're sent to the second water area and you have to do the path thing again. So keep doing it. It's a bit frustrating, but you'll get past it. So the strategy I use to figure out this part is actually pretty easy. All you have to do is watch the troll and when he throws the rock. So pretty much swim in the area that you want him to put the rock in, wait for him to throw it and then move to the next area. So you can see I'm standing in this spot. As soon as I see him throw the rock, I move to the next spot. As soon as I throw him, you know, I keep moving and moving and eventually it gets really easy because he throws them in the spots you want him to throw them. Again, just swim in the spot you want him to throw the boulder and then move as soon as you see him throw the rock. And eventually, you'll get a nice little path here. And it's pretty easy. All you need is five rows of three. And we finish it off right here. So it's pretty easy. Once you finish off this part, swim over to the side and you're all done. So there we go. We made all the paths. You can see I had a little strategy there. 
which made it a bit easier. These second stepping stones will let Iarm enter the cave, which is great. So now we're going to go over here. We're going to use our pickaxe on the cave exit or just click mine cave exit. And that should open up the cave for my arm. Thanks, soup. No problem, my arm. He's going to use the stepping stones, which were so lovingly thrown by this pebble guy. Bring him to mother. <laughs> And now we're in this new area. We're going to speak to Mother over here. Welcome to Weiss Troll. Now, on all the options, we're going to pick every single option here. So just go through all the options until you finish all the dialogue. <laughs> and my arm falls in love with this girl. Hello, Snowflake. Again, go through all the options when you get to this part. So you get kicked out because you have nothing to offer to Mother, so she doesn't really like you guys, unfortunately. We're going to speak to my arm now and once again pick every single option. There's a lot of them, so just go through every single option to learn more about the history of my arm and who he really is. There's going to be some cutscenes here as well if you guys want to watch them, so yeah, just enjoy the lore and I guess the mystery behind the quest. And look, it's the wise old man, but he's young. The wise young man. It's Ash. In his fitter years. Eventually there's going to be a plan devised to let my arm impress mother by faking the killing of the wise old man who's a longtime enemy of the trolls up here. So keep going through the options until you get to this dialogue. On your quest log, when you've gone through all the dialogue here, make sure it says that you need to go to the wise old man to pretend to be dead so that my arm can claim credit for killing him and thus gaining mother's respect. Now we have to go to the wise old man, so teleport out, get yourself to your glory, wherever it is, or teleport if you have your glory on you, to Draenor Village, and we're going to go talk to the wise old man in his little house just north of the bank. Once you're here, go into his house, talk to him, ask about my arm. My arm needs your help. Can you pretend you're dead? <laughs> Nothing. You owe me a favor after the fishing colony quest. Next to him is going to be appear a coffin, which there's a build hotspot, sort of like there is for construction. And you can use your supplies in your inventory to build the coffin. So the first thing we're going to do is just right click build coffin. And with the supplies, you can build it. Easy. Very nice. Some construction XP off that as well, I believe. And now we're going to go to Varok and talk to the apothecary. So make your way to Varok with, by whatever means possible. I'm just going to use a Varok teleport and teleport to Varok. He's pretty close to the fountain. Again, if you guys don't know where he is, he's in this little purple apothecary house. And he's going to make a reduced Kadava potion. So we're going to talk to him. Uh, making friends with my arm. You have some of them, luckily. He's going to make the potion for you. And now you have a reduced Kadava potion. Now make your way back to the wise old man. Talk to him again. And he's going to drink the potion. You have the coffin. You have the potion. And now he pretends to pretty much die. <laughs> and he'll put himself in a coffin. Now we're going to take the old man's coffin. And once again, you can somehow fit an entire coffin and a dead man. Well, sort of dead. Inside of your inventory. Somehow. Before we go back to Weiss though, we're going to gear up for the fight. So I'm going to deposit things I don't need anymore. Like the hammer, like the saw, like the pickaxe. I'm also going to put some salmon potions back in just in case. We are going to keep the bucket though because that is needed a bit later. I'm going to put my blowpipe on and I'll show you guys what my gear looks like. Nothing too fancy, just some food and some ranging potions and some perp potions. The boss fight I believe isn't too terrible, but again, wait to see how I do it. Just to judge it for yourself, I am maxed uh, combat, so probably going to be a bit easier for me than some people watching. We're going to make our way back to Larry, who's going to take us over back to Weiss, and then we're going to climb back up the mountain. Talk to Larry to go back to Weiss. Once you guys have made it back, head back up the rock slide. We're going to talk to Boulder. Welcome back. Thank you. And now we're going to go talk to my arm and tell him that you have the casket or the coffin, whatever you want to call it. You guys are going to head back to Mother. And look, he's dead, unfortunately. Well, sort of, not really. Just a long cutscene here. If you guys want to watch through it, I'm going to skip to the end of the cutscene so you guys don't have to watch me, you know, click to continue a bunch of times. She finds out this is all a trick, and you guys all get stunned, and you get sent to prison. 
Unlucky, guys. Unlucky. Once down here, talk to Odd Mushroom. Some dialogue will happen. Just gonna skip through all of it. I'll never leave you. Mushroom is gonna talk about how there's a fire that pretty much is making the mother really, really strong, and your intention is to figure out how to defeat her, pretty much. Or him, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. Next up are the two boss fights, both of which really aren't too bad. The first one is against Don't Know What, and the second one is against Mother. You guys want to protect from range in both fights, make sure you're potted up. And in both fights, you sort of just want to go back and forth and attack them at the same time, getting one hit in between. The blowpipe is really good DPS, so it's gonna do a lot of damage to them. You guys can't teleport out of these fights if you guys want to leave. You have to enter the cave in both, or the, or the hole in this case, in both instances. I'll show you guys what I mean. In the fight against Mother, you have to use a bucket of water on a fire to distinguish the fire, which is giving Mother all of its power. So I'm going to show you guys what to do. Pretty easy boss fights. Don't stress too much. I'll show you guys what's up. So we're going to talk to Snowflake and get started with the first fight. The wise old man is going to open the door. Don't know what in Squirrel. Squirrel runs, but don't know what wants to fight. Protect from range, and we're going to put on a rigor, and then just start DPSing him. Oh, hold on. <laughs> What's going on here? I have uh, <laughs> I have NPCs attack hidden. There we go. So we're just going to go back and forth and sort of just... Don't really know if this does much. Not sure if that's totally been fixed yet or if it does anything. I haven't taken any damage yet, though. As you can see, though, if you guys are wearing really good ranged gear and you have you know your range potion going, it really isn't too hard of a fight. He's already down to 40%, so... You can also probably just stand here if you'd like. Don't even know if this does anything if I just stand here. It doesn't look like it's doing anything. I'm just... Not that hard of a boss fight. So he's now dead. That's the first one gone. There you can see the barrel of water. That's where you're going to fill up your bucket. So he's going to be here, you know, but you can't do any damage to him yet. So use your bucket of water on, or use your bucket on the barrel here. You're going to get a bucket of water and then use it on the fire of domination. You're going to distinguish it. And now all of a sudden, mother's going to be pretty weak. So keep running around. The chances of you dying here again really don't seem too bad. I have really taken no damage this fight at all. Sell my blow by specs if I want to, so. Keep DPS and moving around. Again, not too hard of a boss fight. This probably works with an Arcebo and an Armacebo as well, but as you can see, I really nothing to worry about here. There we go. That's the fight. <laughs> we did it. Now we're gonna talk to Snowflake. So it was the father, but he was called Mother. Get it together, man. Snowflake is now the leader of Weiss, Vice, Wise, Vice, however you want to pronounce it. Lots of different ways. Go through the cutscene and keep going through the dialogue. And these two now marry, my arm and Snowflake, husband and wife, beautiful, good for them, man. Now they're sort of tangoing, I don't even know kind of uncomfortable right now, I'm not gonna lie. Snowflake and my arm forever. How adorable. Speak to Snowflake once again. <laughs> the wise old man is out. He doesn't want to be here any longer. She needs one more favor. <laughs> one small favor. Okay, what do you want with Gotong? We're gonna run to the northeastern building up here, and with your bucket in your inventory still, we're gonna use some goat dung. So you can see this goat poo. Pick up the goat poo. It's going to go in your bucket. Now you have some goat dung. Interesting. Very interesting. And finally, we're going to go talk to Snowflake and close out this quest. And lo and behold, we are introduced to a new herb patch, everybody. Another one is in the game. Go through the dialogue. We now have some Weiss fire notes. And these are the different fires that you're going to unlock around the world. I'm going to leave some information on the fires in the description of the video. We're going to read the notes. Pretty easy. Go all the way through them. I'll read through them more in depth later, you know. Wow, it's actually a long book. Jeez. Okay, great. And we're going to talk to Snowflake again. I read the book. Go through the dialogue. 
And there it is. Quest complete, everybody. Another quest done on the account. We can get our quest gate back now. 10k agility and mining XP, 5k fire making, 2k construction, a new disease free patch, and salt technology. Very nice. Is, it, is that it? No, no level ups? I'm 1k away from agility, man. 1k away. Anyways, guys, that is this quest. My arm, making friends with my arm. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a pretty easy quest, I have to say. It's, I think it's listed as a master quest or something, but really not too hard. The boss fights are not bad at all, like I said, if you have a blowpipe. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys liked the quest. Gotta hope it helped you out. If it did, make sure to drop a like and a comment, and I will see you guys next time for the next video. Have a good one, and peace.